Hours before dawn, vigilantes load up and fuel up for a long day. One of their last on the hunt for La Tuta, the most wanted man in Mexico. The 18-hour journey takes us from Michoacan's foothills into the rugged heart of the Knights Templar territory, a cartel that's been on the run or just hiding out in the months since vigilantes and police started working together. The first sign of trouble, radio chatter from cartel lookouts. The foot soldiers, some barely 18, are sure they've been spotted. Their leader says despite the danger, they must keep up the fight. We don't want the Knights Templar to regroup, because if they do, they'll just put our children under the yoke of slavery. At a one-time camp for the cartel, the leader meets the top authority in the area, who's also hunting for La Tuta. The police rely on the vigilante's knowledge of the terrain. They spend the day looking for clues, but at each stop, the trail seems to have gone cold, a sign that their prey is always a step ahead of them. And their search is anything but stealthy. Towards the end of the day, a telling moment. They come upon another group of vigilantes with weapons drawn. They suspect them of being cartel members in disguise. Such suspicions are common, but hard to prove. No shot was fired, but the police commander diffuses the crisis and wants to make clear who's in charge. If any of you search houses without permission, I'm gonna you up. Or if any of you other guys step out of line, I'll you up too. Just minutes later, more radio chatter. They hear cartel members talking about their position. They see trucks behind their convoy that speed off into the night. A dangerous moment as they head back to the camp. Do they proceed or wait to avoid a possible ambush? Ultimately, with camp 20 minutes down the road, they really only have one choice, head home. We've just made it back to the police camp here at the bottom of a valley in these mountains. There are more than 70 armed police officers here and dozens of vigilantes. Despite being shadowed on their way back to camp, they all say they feel safe now. Safe perhaps, but still without their man. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, in the mountains of Michoacan, Mexico.